So many times when we're building cars or installing gauges, we have to find the center of a hole or the center of a circle. So we're, I'm going to show you how to do that with a compass. We'll just make a circle right here, like that. Now, we don't know where the center of that circle is, so what we're going to do is we're going to find it, we're going to use a compass to do it. So we just take the compass, and we put it on the outside edge, and then adjust it so it's anywhere past the center. It has, it has no relevance as to where it is, as long as it's past the center. Lock it in place, and then we go ahead, we put an arc here, and an arc over here. We flip it over any place on this side, on the outside edge, we put a circle, an uh, arc here, and an arc there. Okay, now that'll give us one line, so then we'll take a second one, we'll move it over, we'll put an arc here, same thing, right there. Put it on the outside edge, like this. Okay, now after we've got those arcs taken care of, then we just take a straight edge like this. And with this straight edge, then we'll go ahead and line up the places where they cross. Like that. Like that. And there's our center of our circle right there. Very simple to do. Uh, you can do it a number of times. You can do it on all different size holes. It doesn't make any difference what you're doing. Let's, let's show you one more time how that's done. We we'll use it on a smaller one. We're doing gauges. We've got a circle that we want to put in here, a gauge. I'm using a sharpie here, which is a little bit more awkward, but you, it still works. Outside edge, go past the center, make an arc, make an arc up here, one down here, flip it around, make an arc here, make an arc over here. Looks like we better go back over here and. Catch this one a little bit further. Like that. Do the same thing on this side. Take a little longer arc this time because it's a smaller diameter circle. Like that. Go ahead and take our straight edge. Join these together. center. Real simple to do, comes in handy in a lot of different applications, very simple to accomplish with the use of a compass. A lot of times we, it's necessary to make a large arc from like say one point over here to one point over here and we don't have a compass or anything to make that, that arc. So what we can do is we can take a pencil or a sharpie and take a piece of string and we can put one point like this, and then just use our thumb to hold the other end and go over until we find pretty much close where it's supposed to be, like this, where we match both points. Like this, and then just make our, make our arc using a piece of string. String works a little better than wire because wire has a tendency to kink. So a piece of string, just tape it or whatever to here. But if you have two points, you can adjust the pivot point, play with it a couple times until you get that point where it goes through both, both of them, both points, back and forth, and then just swing your arc, and then you can have it. Then you've got a nice smooth arc. You can, do, you can do an arc this way, and if you had another arc that had to come into it like this, then there's one more way you could take it, take, uh, make it work.